All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are in the final week at the Tour Championship on PGA Tour 21, 2K21. We're playing at East Lake Golf Club. Alright, so for the FedEx Stroke Adjustment Leaderboard, we are in first place. And we're going to start off this round one right now. So it should be fun, should be a good time. Looking forward to season two. Thank you everybody who viewed up to this point. For the newcomers, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that GJ bell button. In association with the PGA We're going to go ahead and to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup grab a screenshot there. So we got a 7,400 yards, par 70. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam as we kick off this Tour Championship. And our next golfer on the tee is currently ranked first in FedEx Cup points. And that means they'll start their round at 10 under. It's a good place to start, isn't it? We've already got a lead and a significant lead on the chasing pack. And so it's one of these changes that we weren't too sure how it was all going to pan out, but it worked well, so the players embraced it. And it's interesting, if nothing else. But yes, you're rewarded by being the number one points earner. And I think it's great. It's been a lot of fun. And this really has added some excitement to it. It's a lovely advantage to have going into any tournament, but that must feel like a huge head start. It's a huge head start, but let's just kind of look at the opposite way. If you lose, all of a sudden, those guys that are trailing, they're going to give you a little bit of something, something in the locker room after the week is over with. But no, listen, I mean, obviously, number one going into this week, they're playing well. The confidence level is high. They're firing on all cylinders. I don't see the top leaders really falling down that much. I think they're going to kind of maintain what they've already produced in the first couple of playoff events. And it's a great reward for a season long of excellence. Yes, that's exactly right. And there, it's a nice reward. It's a nice bonus. And that's why we call it the FedEx Cup Playoffs. It's a bonus at the end of the year. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Yeah, I can understand if you're disappointed by the bogey. Here's an opportunity to bounce back. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And coming up well short. Even for the day. Okay, let's get back to the action. This would be a great up and down. on the green now but a bit of work left to do here if he makes this he'll save his par oh that's good grit there and a all nice right tidy save from the green side bunker nice par this hole here is a par four that should find the fairway Time for the second shot into the third. Yeah. Quality shot, that one. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Ooh, nice looking putt. Well done. Take the birdie. He sits in first position. Oh. And they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Yeah. Nicely done. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, guys, I'm down here on the sixth as Tony Fino gets ready for his next shot. Oh, my God. And that will take him to two under. 
time for the second shot here at the four. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, he just hits a wall yeah, of a hill. Didn't seem to fit their eye. Well, story of the day for this player is just missed too many greens. You can't afford to do that. All right, see if we can get that close. These greens seem to be running super fast. Oh, that was a beauty. So yeah, one. interesting uh, that yeah. So starting off at goes. ten under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par, chance to pipe one up the middle. That should play well. I think my son just woke up, so we're going to probably have to there. take a short break here. Here we have Cam Chan from just a little while ago. This is his third. Second shot here on the fifth. with the 9-iron I think any bounce to the left here would be helpful yeah not a bad effort that one up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt oh this will be good for the momentum let's make this birdie putt get excited this could go in mm, just didn't hit it ah that's a shame comes up shy wow shocking to say the least how do you miss that leading by a couple after that hole the sixth hole at uh, East Lake Rich, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill, so a little length helps. That one's heading down Broadway. Elevated greens are always difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand well, you can hand that sandwich back to the caddy and reach for the putter this one's for birdie hey nice looking line yeah good putt well hold and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that deep into the front nine here we are at the seventh hole that one was fired out of a cannon. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this line? Well, I'm not sure how much club they can get onto this one. It's, uh, it's in the first cut, but it's quite deep. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor could have been worse slim chance for a birdie but in all reality two putt for mm, par would be didn't just hit fine. it and that putt just was never <coughs> hard enough seven feet to the cup all right so for par we got a little bit of a tough part here good looking putt we got oh, it wonderful effort confirms the par Currently 11 under par for the round. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Oh, come on, you're better than that. Lining up from the sand now. Hey, buddy. How are you feeling? Yeah. Uh, yeah now intrepid on yeah. Paul's reporter, okay. John standing by. Yep. Well, down here on the tenth hole, Tony Finau's just getting ready to hit. Let's get back to it, shall we? And here we are with the third shot. Let's see if we can make this. All right. Get see if we can make our par 
and then we'll take a short Stop break. The and the puck will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. All right, so we're back. Got my son all set up, made a cup of coffee. We're on the ninth hole. We're one under par for the round. We got that ten shot. Opting for the three wood. Ten shot under par for being in first place in the FedEx standings. This is a tough course it's though. That that approach didn't I'm liking East Lake. Not taking enough club to get it there. I haven't played it on this game There's yet, but I do remember this, this if I remember right the from the Tiger Woods game. <laughs> Nothing shot. seems too familiar. I think the 18th hole is probably the only hole that will sort of seem familiar to me. Okay, step one complete out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. And he needs this to save par. Mm. That was a gallant attempt. This next putt is for bogey. Oh, what a stroke. <coughs> and that's for a bogey. All right, so we're back to even par in the front this is nine. the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Playing from 110 yards out. Slightly elevated grade. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Mm, way too much spin. Didn't even make it there. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And there it is. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? Third shot now. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. All right, 19, 20 feet down into the wind. We're just going to take that to the middle of the green. This one needs to kick left. So I got to slow down. All right. Going to get a little help from the backstop. A nice approach up there. Pin high inside the range. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. This one's tracking. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now two shots up after that one. And now teeing off on this par four hole. All right, it's a short par for only at 397, but playing into the wind should still leave. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Just like a pitching, to pick pitching wedge, maybe? The 14th. Maybe sand wedge? Full shot, and I'm thinking, the not a pitch. Live action. Uh, eight iron pitch shot. Um, let's see, all right. Yeah, we'll do the seven iron pitch shot. Maybe we'll get a little bit of roll. Should come seven. up short. That standing approach shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. It's got a chance. All right, yeah, we got nice the birdie. Nice birdie putt, that one. <clears throat> Let's see if we can finish this Still back nine. After that hole. 
Let's see what happens here. At to the bring her around under par. Not sure the wind's gonna fight that back in. We're gonna need a good bounce. Nope. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. Alright, so 80% from the fairway bunker. We'll hit the seven iron and try to just get this thing onto the green. See how much roll back we're gonna get here. That's on the green and you never know what could happen. Alright. A long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? Very slow. Especially the short game has been really sharp today. We're going to hit it up that hill. Have it come back down. Never quite hit that. Mm. There's a part of about six feet coming up. All right. Not a gimme by any means. Hey, that's a chance. Nice. Yeah. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. Now at 11 under for the day. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. All right, it's downhill, downwind. Looks like the fairway slopes from right to left. Gotta say, so we hit a good shot. The best rhythm in the game. Just not sure about the slope of the fairway. Oh, we got a bad kick to the right. Not even making that slope. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Alright. We're playing out of some heavy rough. So we're just going to hammer it down there with the three wood. That's not what they were looking for. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. All right, we're gonna have this left for lovely if at that par. Do a nine foot chance here. This one's dialed in. All right, nice putt That's there. A good putt for this is a tough it. course. Greens are hard. Fairways are John, you're down tricky there. to get Tell where me. you want. And over on the tenth hole, guys. This is Ian Poulter sitting at plus one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. I shot that, that should find the surface. That was a long par three. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Time for the fifth shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. All right, chip shot downhill. Try to read this thing like a putt. All right, that's got to slow down. This is a par putt. Don't mind the look of this. Good putt that. Alright, we got our par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And there's a lot of pressure on the line, Rich, as we get to the closing holes at East Lake. And here we are at 16. Tough tee shot, 454 yards. Deep bunker down the right hand side. Tee shot plays straight back up the hill. Go ahead and give her a wallop. Nicely done. Playing up to an elevated green here. All right, we're going to club up two. I mean, we're uphill into the wind. Going with the hybrid. So I might need to sit. Yeah, it's almost like nothing played there. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Air mail the green with that approach. Getting ready to play their third. feet coming up to the cup. Alright, for par. It's on a good line. 
Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And now that finds him in first place. And as we get to the penultimate hole at East Lake Rich, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. All right. Oh, that's a high caliber <laughs> shot. We're making the fairway. Downhill into the wind. Go into Chosen the left the off of the here. fairway, going to the right with the wind. Everything is opposite. So I just sort of hit it right at it. And we hit the slope. Sitting up miles from the hole. Looking like a good putt. It's going to set up nice for a par. Ooh, you like me and thought that had a chance. We're going to see if we can get a birdie on this par 518. I think this is the hole that I remember. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. I'm looking at Let's see if it's... The I'm thinking it had like the water. You had to like hook it up, up and around to the right on, for your second shot. If you want to try to reach the green. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And after a recent switch of the nines here at East Lake, the finishing yeah, hole's gone from a tough to five. Um, five. Alright, so downhill downwind. Take down the and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you'll definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Mm, I think we're going to hit that slope, and I think we're going to run out of fairway. But disappointing that one. At no, least we didn't go into the outcome. green the or into stuff. the water. He's going to need an incredible stroke of luck to get this out with any momentum going forward to get it on the green. We're just going to try to scoot a three wood up there. Get a and short pitch shot. shot. All right, and we got to look at Birdie. It's pretty good. I think we got a chance at this one. We're just going to tap that one down. Ooh. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. All right, so it seems to be. Whoa, we hammered that thing. But we got it. So we're minus one. That's a tough well, that's course. A way to finish the opening round. Very surprising the there. Sounds great. Yeah, slim margin right now. Lots of golf left to play. Um, yeah, we got a one-shot lead over Packers Adam Scott. Justin Thomas dropping down. Days. Let's see what happens. Um, well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich so, Bay, yeah, Bill. should be good. For in. We're in first. We're not even going to pause the video. We're going to see if we can hit a little more fairways, hit a little more greens, make some putts. Two K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. We're at the Tour Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich. As this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Well, I think that uh, the chances are pretty good. The good thing about having a small lead is you have an opportunity to make it a bigger lead. And you want to do that. You want to go ahead and start separating yourself from the rest of the field if you can. But you can't do it all in one fell swoop. It's hole by hole. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. All right, I think we're going to be getting a bogey here. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. So we got our bogey part. He finds himself in a share of the lead. 
Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. Time to take off at the second. We'll pause our other computer because I was just making too much noise. All right, so we're going to choke up on that one. We hit some backspin and some loft. <clears throat> See if we can hold that green. Not so much. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. All right. Gonna try to go for that one. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Judging it beautifully. Johnny Mac, what's the news? Well, I'm on the third hole, and this is 20 feet out. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. That was All right, good drive. We're moved. tied for first now. We're one over for the second round early on, but we got a lot of golf to play. Mm. Let's start to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? This is Gary Woodland, guys, and we are down here on the sixth hole. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here on the third. Alright, so the green's sloping from right to left and back to front. So I hit it slow. You like that, didn't you? Ooh, these oh. are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Yeah, it's breaking a lot. Oh, so close. Big putt for par coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. All right, so still at plus for one for the round. Welcome to this hole. It's Even for the tournament, but we got the ten points from the FedEx Cup standings. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Mm, let's see if we can get a nice bounce. No. This next one from the beach. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. We're going from sand to sand. Getting ready to play their third. That's a nice out. Oh, that's great. It just hey, missed the hole. Okay. Well, I'm going to see you today. Wow, that was a pretty cool bite. that puddle there. Bless you. Thank you. Currently 10 under for the event. Thanks, I have a piece of tape because this piece of rope. Yeah. All right. Thank you. There you go. You're can you, welcome. Can you move yep. your tea a little bit of fart? Yeah. All right. Good drive. Hit it a little bit fast. I tripped you. Hooking it into the wind. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? They're in the deep stuff, and they are deep into it as well. So you're going to have to be careful getting out of this one. out of the rough it's gonna jump out to the right the winds go into the right and choosing the eight on here just looking to get that on the green there's a long way but I tell you what I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. All right, just looking to get that 
close so that we can tap in our par. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Not bad from where we were off the tee okay, shot. Okay, let's head to the next. Uh, just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Here we are at the sixth hole. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill, so a little length helps. Oh, well done. God, give us an update. Here you go. What's shaking? Awesome. Down Perfect, there, buddy. Yeah. This is Billy Horschel. And there's a wall. He's amazing. There it is. And on this way, there's a cat on Raul's head. Yeah. And the third one. That's super silly, buddy. Yeah. This one's bunker bound. And this maze is when the Rocky has to get to recycle this from here to him. Yeah, he's going to try to walk in the maze. The marshal has to try to get the bonus. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, you know, the bunker there. The seventh maze. Three feet to go here to the hole. And, and that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. Not a way to grind it out. Hit the bunker, up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. And after a birdie at the last, you take the other on the hole. All right, slight draw, fight the wind a little bit. Still not going to be enough. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Let's take a look at this long range effort. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot here. All at right, the I think we're going to have the winds helping us here. The this can be at the right distance. We should be able to find the green and get some nice rolls. So that's actually not a terrible shot there. It should be able to outside chance of the hopefully birdie, two putts. Two putt here is still good. Let's see if he can make it. Well hold. Let's move on. Leading by a shot after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. All right, oh, like the tee shot. I think it should bounce to the left. All right, we're good. Playing from around 110 yards. This shot's gonna jump Straight out to the left. Wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the We're gonna add some loft and some backspin. Come on, sit. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. Outside chance here for the birdie. <coughs> Good putt. How good would that have been if it had dropped? And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Yeah, this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. All right, super hard par three. Um, Dad, I think I get it. With I think this one's supposed to be zoom. Get a good ah. bounce to the left. Yeah. That's very cool, bud. And, and it's on... This page here. Yeah. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, almost went in. And this would be a great power putt if you can make this. I like the look of this. That's well hold. John, what's going on out there? Down here on the 10th hole, Tony Finau's prepping his next shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. It's 
Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That's a mistake. Tough to leave that short. Sometimes you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Leading by a couple after that hole. We find ourselves on a par three here. Yeah, we're gonna add some backspin to that. <clears throat> Looks to be going with the a hole. Lynch should draw it back into the center just of the fairway. A little bit more of a kick to the right. Yeah, nicely played. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Downhill. That's going to okay. roll out Steady pretty down. far. We're going to have a tough par putt. And this putt coming up for his par. All right, we're going to give this one a go. Ah. It's just about three feet away. So we're going back to even and par for the round. Goes. Let's head to the next. But no, we're one over for the round. This took place even just par a for the tournament. An absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. Check out what they do on this approach. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And we're tied for the lead, the so this is a tough one. This is going to come down to, I think, the moment. fourth round. Back nine. <clears throat> Second shot here on the 12th. So we're going to play a lot of that wind. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Lining up the birdie putt here. All right, it's turning. Oh. And that should secure the par. Well done. <coughs> and after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. We have a par four on this one. All right, hit that fast. We're not going to end up in the fairway. That may even have some tree trouble. This could alter the line of the shot. For our next shot. Not really what they were hoping for there. Playing to an elevated green here. Let's see if they've got the right club. So we're gonna punch that out. See if we can make the fairway. Unpredictable. Don't know what you're gonna get from the golfing gods here. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. It's gonna be tough to get close, but we're gonna try it. Oh, nearly impossible. So we, wow, with the pitch shot, we couldn't sure even get on the green. To do. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. All right, we need this one to be close. <coughs> We're going to drop down. We're not going to be in the lead anymore, that's John, for sure. Have you got a read on this one? This is about 40, 41 feet to the hole from there. It was on a good line. Well, that's disappointing. All this right, so we got down. a double, double nice bogey strike. that we're going to look to hold. 
All right, we don't have too many holes left. We're going to be on the 14th. We need to bring this thing back down to at least 10, 10 under. Somewhere around there. So, a 569 yard par 4. There is no stopping that hook from slowing down anytime soon. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. All right, first well, shot into the, the rough. The not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. Just going to look to get line. this thing in the fairway. This hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. And man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm down here on the 17th hole, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. All right, looking for that shot yeah, to set up our par. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Looking good. And in it goes for the par. He's currently sitting in second. This hole is a par three. Oof. Yeah. Tough. Tough course. And we hit it wood. fast. We're going into the water, no ladies and gentlemen. And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. Let's head to the last hole for this wonderful highlight. Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? This one's for bogey. All right, so for bogey. Putting downhill. <clears throat> Ooh, right by the hole. Seven feet to the cup. There we and go. We got the goes. We got the double bogey. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Alright, we're finding the fairway. We gotta make some moves here. Well, that's a handy shot. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Wind is blowing left to right, gonna try and hold it against the wind. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. That's not the outcome they were after. Wind is actually <coughs> swirling in this part of the golf course. All right, we're going to club up here because there's a big elevation. Oh. All right. Their fourth shot. This is for par. We're just falling apart here. Just didn't drop. Just three feet to the cup. This one started out on a good line. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Trailing by seven. Man, that is an that ugly, hole. ugly this hole back here is nine. A four. We're going to add some loft to this so we don't hit the tree. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Mm -hmm. That should find the surface. Now, that looked pretty good the whole way. 20 feet to the cup. Looking really good. All right. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. We got and a birdie. We need every up. one of those that we can get. Well, let's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the A team. The driver was too much last time, but we're going to play it up here, see if we can land it 
in the rough to get a bounce to the left. Maybe that'll slow it down, but we're not. All right, so we're still gonna be in the rough. Uh, that's a little untidy. And our man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they're in the deep rough here, um, but they ended up with a you know, pretty favorable lie considering. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. There's this one to kick right. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. looking good wasn't it thank you everyone good all game. right so yeah ugly plus five and we're not going to be in first place and as this round winds down he finishes in second place absolutely luke can't wait to do it again tomorrow i'm luke elvey alongside rich b but on behalf of all the hard working folks at hb studios it's goodbye for now all right we're tied for second adam scott hmm all right, so we'll pause this here. Okay. Yes, sir. I think he's already awake. Yeah, yeah let's just wait for a minute. Yeah. When you when you get to the 18th hole, we'll get him up. Yeah. Okay, on the next round.